Hey guys, welcome to CPP Tech again. Uh, a couple months ago, I actually did a video on the uh, Panasonic Homehawk uh, security cam, which uh, it was a, a bookshelf cam. You can actually mount it on the wall like like so, and it has screws on there and whatnot. And you can do it on the wall or mount it on your on your desk or whatnot. We have it upstairs in the living room on a on a shelf in the corner. Uh, but I've gotten some, some questions and, and surprisingly this video has gotten 400 something views on it. So I thought I would revisit it, uh, and go over some of the features with it, um, that, uh, I didn't really go over too much with in the previous video. Uh, like you push notifications on whether or not, you know, you turn them on. To detect motion and it'll send you a notification on your phone when you're gone uh things of that nature so i've got the ipad here and uh we're going to go into the ipad here real quick and open up the app and i'll go through some of the some of the stuff with it okay so let's go ahead and get in all right so i've opened up the app and this is the first screen you you come to there's three bars up here on the left hand side if you click those um, you've got shop, support, add cameras. So if you want to add multiple cameras of these, uh, you can. Um, settings, there's not too much on, on, on this page, on the settings page. There's the mobile device settings and deregistering the, the device. So you don't really want to do too much. Um, remote access mode, UDP, you want that on there. You've got the country and region, which is wherever you're at. So we're going to go back out of that. And if you hit this HD camera, it's going to pull up your actual camera and what you see when you do do so. Um, there I am right there. I have the audio turned off. You can do the talk where you can talk back and forth to your kids or your, your mom or your grandma or what have you. I have it turned off because I'm so close that there's feedback. So what I'm going to actually do is... Uh, Go up here to these right hand, this left hand corner, there's three bars. You click that, and you have all this uh, information here. Uh, firmware update, I suggest checking those every three months, just in case. Uh, this one's up to date, so I'm gonna press OK. Um, press those three bars again. Uh, smart recordings, if you go into smart recordings, you can actually do a schedule, motion sensor, sound sensor, or temperature sensor. Um, the other thing too, with, with, with that is if you go into settings and you go to notification settings, you can, you can select motion detect. So basically it's going to put, do a push notification to your phone or to your device that if there's motion set, it'll, it'll actually ding on you. Uh, camera recording, uh, it'll tell you if it's recording. Temperature alert was really cool if I back out here real quick If you look There's the, the the temperature of the room so you can actually set it to where it sends you a notification in, in, in the room that it's in if it gets You know to a certain degree Fahrenheit or Celsius. We'll get in that uh, Like say you if, if it's sitting at 80 degrees in that room It's going to tell you you can set it to where if it's like 30 degrees in that room It's going to send you a message so if you go into the sensor settings and then your temperature, uh, I've got it turned off, but right here, upper limits, lower limits, you can, you can do high 60, high 30, or high, high of uh, uh, 80. Um, you got to turn it on so you can actually adjust. So you can go down to 32 two degrees Fahrenheit. Um, if you want, and it'll send you a notification, and then it'll go up to 104 degrees. If it's 104 degrees in that room, whew, you are cooking. Uh, you can do units whether it's Celsius or Fahrenheit. So if you live in Canada, you, you, you use Celsius up there so you can actually change it. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Um, Video settings. 
So in your video settings, you can pick your resolution. I've just got it at 720 because I don't really need that much. If you notice that my AC, my my SD card is almost full. So if you look up above it, overwrite recording. So what that will do is that when that, when that SD card starts to fill, it'll start recording on the on the on the oldest video. Cause I mean, it, it probably, I think uh, this small card, it'll record up to a week. So basically what's gonna happen is, you know, if something dramatic happens, you know right away within the next day or two that something happened, it's in your house. So, I mean, you're gonna notice it. So anything from a week prior, you probably won't need. Um, you can get a bigger bigger SD card, I believe, if I remember correctly, you can put up to a 64 gig card in here, but the 15 gig card that it came with, which was really cool that it came with it, uh, works pretty good for me. Um, you can actually go in here and set recordings, or, or not set recordings, just, you know, you see something, press record real quick if it's set up to where it's only recording certain times of the day. Uh, and here's your videos. So you can go, it goes by date on on what the videos are. So you can actually click click on that um, from a couple days ago. And then you can click on whichever one you want to watch. Uh, the other thing too is you can pull that SD card out. You can pull that SD card out and put, throw, it, throw it in your computer. Um, I've got a whole bunch of adapters. So like this is for my audio. You get these adapters here, and then the small little SD card goes into here. And then I've got this USB stick actually that this slides in, and then I plug in the USB. But this this particular USB also has the micro SD card slot in it too. I just like using that. So. I figured I'd go over some of these settings with you guys on on the the Panasonic Home Hawk. I really like this camera. It's a, it's a good camera. I'm glad I did the uh, review on it. And I thank you guys for watching. If you like this and want to see the the other stuff that I have, like the the Grams from Midlife Crisis computer stuff, we're we're doing some of that um, live shows on Saturday nights. Uh, trying to do seven o'clock. So, uh, go ahead and subscribe if you like, and thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.